Hey, welcome back. It's FX time now, and we're reviewing the market uh, FX Commodities Exchange for the week ended July the 24th. And we can tell you that in the last trading week, uh, there were mixed performances across key indicators. Uh, starting with the turnover, it dropped more than 50%, 53.10%. Closing the week at 2.92 uh, from 6.22 billion naira in the last trading week. A number of volumes traded was also down 61.79%, while the number of deals rose on the flip side 1.56%, closing the week at 130 from 128 in the previous week. The AFX Commodities Index witnessed a decline of 0.08%, while the FX Export Index rose by 0.01%, really marginal there, closing at 228.70 from 228.68 in the last trading week. Now, let's look at the number of, the volume of contracts, as we see there on the screen. It witnessed an increase in volume across soybean and paddy rice, and um, there we have that very long red there. Now let's look at the prices uh, across export commodities, beginning with maize right there. Maize was up 2.96%, that's about 9 naira, to close at 313 naira, 40 kobo. Uh, if we can see the next commodity there and uh, see what that looks like. We have ginger, we have wheat. All of that, uh, a lot of the commodities we see uh, were unchanged, just as we see there, uh, sorghum was unchanged for the week ended. Uh, we also maintained 300 naira in, at uh, 1,247 um, at the end of the week. We see cashew not also gained 4.64%. Soybeans, however, dropped, uh, lost 25 naira, 87 kobo. These are prices for a kilogram of this, pro of this product. Uh, cocoa was also down. This is not good for Nigeria's revenue drive. And um, sesame was unchanged for the week ended. Yeah, so if you want more information, you can go to AFEX website uh, and their social media handles. They can, you can talk to them, get responses, and of course, get more information on how you can participate on the AFEX exchange. Now let's uh, have a more conversation on AFEX on boosting innovation for agri-food systems in not just Nigeria, but Africa. We have joining us from our Abuja studio, Kainde Akereli. Analyst, Strategy and Corporate Finance with AFEX. Hi, good morning and thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning, Kendi. Thank you for having me. So, of course, uh, the issue of Africa's population uh, expected to e hit 2.5 billion by 2050 is no longer news. And uh, with this comes, of course, the market, which is good, but the other side, we also have to feed this 2.5 billion people. And we see that FX is going ahead to uh, think of what we should do or how we should feed this 2.5 billion people in 2050. So uh, what is the innovation that uh, FX is thinking or working with, you know, to feed this growing population? All right. Thank you very much for the question. Um, it's not new that innovation is an indispensable tool in agricultural space. It's also not new that it's a key integral thing that we need in agriculture. Innovation helps out in manufacturing um, along the production value chain. It also helps out along the value chain of agriculture, from the management of inputs to the access of markets to farmers. What FX is doing is developing an innovation technique known as the value chain analysis, value chain financing, sorry, where we supply farmers with inputs such as fertilizers and seedlings to improve their crop productivity, improves, also improving their crop yields. This in terms also helps the farmers by improving their income opportunities along the value chain. So what would you say are some of the current challenges that the agri-food system is facing? Anything new? 
Um, it's, we all know that they will continually face challenges such as um, such a so shortage of resources. Um, also known as, we also have the um, challenges like infrastructural gap. But what we're doing, still speaking on the shortage of resources, is still on the input financing part, while supplying farmers with inputs, such as seedlings and fertilizers, also trying to give them the access to markets. We have this app called Comex, where we link farmers with traders at the fair market price, where they sell their produce at the fair market price, and know that they are not being cheated in any way possible. Mm. So Nigeria's agricultural landscape has been described largely as being traditional. Uh, what are some of those innovation that you think can transform these uh, traditional agricultural practices? All right. Um, we know also about farmers' lack of access to credit. FX is introducing this. FX has this thing known as the storage warehouse receipts, where farmers can use this to collect loans from commercial banks because they also know that they have um, collaterals on ground. We also have the um, Kodi platform, which we just developed, where we're introducing farmers to financial inclusion. We're bringing farmers into finance where they know that they have credits and they can easily go to banks to collect loans from them. Also, there's the COMEX, um, there's the trade financing, and a lot more that FX is doing to improve innovation in the agri-food agri systems. All right, uh, thank you so much uh, for those explanations, uh, Kende Akirili, analyst strategy thank and corporate finance with AFEX. Thank you. Let's take a breather. We'll be back. <laughs>